Welcome to Finchley College. Uh, today um, I'm going to talk to you about uh, generally what the surveying and setting out is all about and what you expect it to do as a setting out engineer or a surveyor. Now the act of surveying is to find out the position of uh, various items on site. For example, you go and survey a road, um, a junction, a uh, roundabout for example, and you want to pick up the position of the curbs, the gullies, any manholes, the lampposts, the trees, anything, any features in there that a surveyor wants, that the architect wants to know. For example, an architect has bought, a client sorry, has bought a piece of land and has commissioned the architect to design him a building. The first thing the architect will say, what is the size of your plot of land? I need to know that. So they would commission you as a surveyor to go and survey this um, surrounding area. For example, there may be a road in there, there's a junction, there's a box junction, there are, you know, there are lamp posts in there, lamp posts, there's a manhole, the gullies on the road, gully, manhole, there may be a sewer in there, you know, in the middle of the road, sewer in there, or various um, or the next door building. Next door building, next door properties, you know, say number 15, number 17. You'll have to survey these uh, adjacent properties, the road and everything, so that when the architect sees that, you'll know exactly, you can put it in an AutoCAD, and you can exactly see the size of this building. For example, is uh, 55 meters by, uh, for example, 30 meters. And then you'll see that the width of the road, for example, is 6 meters, and it's got 3 meters, uh, footpaths, and there's a you know a lamp post in there, and another lamp post in there, and there's a you know a, a manhole in there. So what the position of services will tell him that there's a service going here into the construction site. So they need to uh, deal with that. It may be live, it may be dead. They'll have to deal with that. It may have to be diverted. And also, what he will get from the site of the survey is that how he can design his building and where he can put his building, for example, he may have to put his car parks here. So essentially the size of the plot will tell him how, what he can design, what size it's got to be, and what obstructions or obstacles are nearby. So that is a part of surveying. You can set yourself as a professional surveyor very easily. All you need to do is to learn how to use the surveying equipment. And there's a simple procedure in establishing a traverse so you set up some nails, uh, you know, around the site, traverse point around the site, and you survey, you know, traverse point one, traverse point two, traverse point three, traverse point four, traverse point five, for example, and you will survey in relation to this traverse, and you survey the building in relation to these control points. So this becomes your control points. You establish these control points, you establish the coordinates, and from these control points you can survey everything. And you can also come back in a year from now, six months from now, two years from now. The, you know, the engineers for the construction site can come in, use these control points, and set out the building. So this is the surveying. The setting out is after this position, the building has been designed, is ready to construct, you're, you're needed to, cons uh, to set out the foundations. Say for example, these are going to be the foundations for the perimeter wall. You need to set out these foundations so that they can excavate them. And excavate them to the right depths and the right position. And so there may be columns in there inside the building. So you need to set out these columns that are going to support a slab above. You will have to set out these columns exactly, precisely under two points or four points or you set out an offset for each column. And so you set out an offset line for each column and that is the job as a setting out engineer. Setting out elements in a building uh, precisely in the right position and the right height on site. You will do all that with the uh, total station. You can use a robotic total station or a normal total station. The normal ones are um, fairly easier to use maybe. Um, the robotic ones are 
uh, they're also easy once you get the hang of it, uh, how it works. They just slightly, um, uh, the only problem with them is that they lose the signal. If somebody, your machinery goes um, in your way, they lose the signal, so you have to wait to uh, find the signal again. Otherwise, you can use the uh, normal total station or a, a robotic total station. Now we'll go later about what these are and what the differences are and what they do to uh, the menu system. I just want to describe for today survey, setting out what they are and what you need to do.